Okay, guys, so I'm back. Sorry, it took so long. I had to get a shower and stuff like that. But before we go visit this sea emperor or sea empress, let's read a little bit. Um, and some host peepers leaving the containment facility. The outflow pipes are filled with peepers traveling back towards the surface. Specimens show no cis symptoms of infection. All specimens scanned are carrying N sign 42, which they suggest inhabits the inhibits the bacterium. Specimen stomach act if cavities are otherwise empty, suggesting they may have purged the contents before entering the pipes. Assessment If peepers have evolved to dis distribute the enzyme via the pipe network, this may explain part of the mechanism by which life on 4546B has survived since the bacterial outbreak. Peepers entering the containment facility. The pipes drawing water into the containment facility are filled with peepers arriving from the surface. The fish show no signs of distress. The specimens scanned have all consumed high quantities of seasoned and organic matter from the surface. Some specimens are beginning to show signs of infection. Sea Emperor Egg Casing Cell Composition The cell casing is formed from thick layers of carbon composite, suggesting an extensive growth and an extensive gestation period. This Leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Shell casing in 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 incisions. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing, egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside prior prior to full. Just a station. Analysis. Time pressure to develop the bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for stay. It is also possible that, removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to not to act naturally was not met. See Emperor Fetus. Found preserved in a display case, it was likely a child of the adult specimen contained within the facility. Physiology Superficial damage to the specimen indicates it was artificially removed from its egg casing. Stunted tissue developed suggests the organism expired expired during the removal process. During, I mean, um, tissue samples have been taken from the digestive tract. Analysis. It appears the aliens were attempting to, of, to formulate a cure for the, a cure for the bacterium from enzymes produced in this specimen's digestive system. Without a young, healthy specimen, these efforts were in vain. Okay, um, deceased. Reaper Leviathan skeleton. Ugh. Reapers are ill suited to high temperature environments, suggesting this creature was forced down into the active lava zone by conditions outside its control. Trace muscle tissue remains on its bones, indicating that indicating the specimen died in recent months. Burns and other physical damage to the skeletal structure likely became prey for something bigger. Oh yeah, I also scanned this guy. Warper, an aggressive creature with the ability to teleport itself with and others in space. No genetic crossover identified with indigenous life forms. Demonstrates no recognized defensive behavior. Head. Mechanisms located in the head region provide its warping capability. Um, 
which it uses to stalk its targets. Um, torso. Appears to hunt other life forms, but no digestive organs have been identified. Internal structure considerably more complex than other known organisms. Unable to distinguish e whether organic or artificial in nature. Assessment. Further research required. Um, according to translated dialogues, an indigenous Leviathan species was found to produce a unique substance referred to as Enzyme 42, which, inhib it, which inhibited the systems of the Kara or Karara, Kara, there we go, bacterial infection and other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained in a purpose built habitat for, for, for further stay. The alien researchers went to great lengths to the alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the life forms environmental needs, including the import of interdependent flora and fauna via an on-site warp gate. Warp gate. However, its health quickly deteriorated. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and force fields were sealed. All attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Oh, shut up. See Emperor Leviathan research there. Oh yeah, that thing is big. Specimen size categories have been adjusted upward to accommodate the species. Feeding and digestion. Um, Alien research data indicates that despite its size, this species feeds entirely on microorganisms it filters from the water, which themselves depend on a complicated e ecosystem of plant and animal life. Reproduction Large ovary-like organs are carried in the creature's middle sex section, suggesting like other species on, the on this planet, it produces eggs. However, internal scar tissue indicates probable infertility. Enzyme 42. The emperor manufactures enzyme 42 within its stomach cavity to break down its food. It will occasionally expel it into the surrounding waters. This substance was found to neutralize the effects of the bacterium and its presence in the ecosystem today would explain how life on this planet survived the outbreak. It would remain to explain by what mechanism the enzyme is being delivered. Comparative, okay, health. Comparative analysis of size and metabolic rates indicates the specimen captured by the researchers was approximately 1,600 years old. Extensive internal and external scar tissue suggested that lived well in excess of the peak lifespan for its species as assessment. While a healthy emperor specimen may have held some potential as a cure, a cure it's unlikely any research subjects sur survived quarantine procedures. Ventilation control. Water flowing to and from the prime primary well, containment facility is being automatically controlled, independent of other safeguards, data and the work position has been recorded. Inflow. Water is being drawn from different biomes around the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility while microorganism and nutrient counts are substantially higher. Outflow. Oxygen deprived water is being flooded from the system and recycled back to the surface. Alien immediately. Oh, for crying out loud. There, happy. Where's what was I say? Um this rock like object features organic as well as mechanical parts. There is some genetic and techno genetic and technolo technological 
crossover with the design of the self-warping constructs encountered elsewhere. It appears to have, it appears to so serve no pur purpose in its current state, and is away in some kind of active phasing sequence. Materials such as this may have been the fundamental building blocks of the aliens' technology, or even the aliens themselves. Ah. This carving is hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber. Grown on an unknown planet, it bears striking resemblance to the old Earth yin yang symbol. Two competing theories may explain this similarity. 1. Aliens visited Earth prior to the 4th century in BC and influenced the development of ancient Chinese philosophy. 2. The concept of yin and yang is universal, since yin and yang describes the fundamental interdependency of seemingly opposite forces, and may be a necessary existential understanding of some form, and also efficiently developed civilizations, the tempering of two circles yin and who opposed an inf infinitive, I don't know how to say that, small points, the finite, is one logical way to represent this understanding, may have developed independency by a species other than humans. Okay, right, um, this artifact is unpowered, suggesting it served a ceremonial rather than practical purpose. The pyramid resembles fine spiraling upwards toward the warm blue stone mounted above it. it may represent a pl plant found on the alien's homeworld. A building of religious import, or even the gravi gravitational pull of the home solar system. An ancient earth blade, dating back to the 13th century. Blood samples from the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. This evidence supports the theory that the aliens are an ancient space-born civilization engaged in the serpentious study of less developed species. Holographic Projector This device contains network apparatus and a holographic projection unit was likely used as a communications relay, capturing and projecting the image of the user to, to a remote location. There do not appear to be any other devices in range. Nanobots Scans show some form of advanced nanobot inside this seemingly empty case. These bots are substantially smaller than any developed within the Federation, and it is not possible to ascertain their exact function. It would, however, however to be unwise to re release them. Right. This device contains a highly unstable pro radioactive isotope, likely to destroy all organisms exposed to it while leaving physical structures intact. Although it would function perfectly well as a weapon, it was more likely used to sterilize spaces for later inhabitation. But without instructions, it would be unwise to interact with it. Got it. Um, this device shares many similarities with the tablets to, used to access the alien facilities. Though its structures Rather less complex, it may have served a similar purpose, granting security access and storing relevant data, and was thus kept here as a form of legacy support. That's cool. This construct is emitting a high bandwidth signal consistent with alien transmissions, trans, transmissions intercepted elsewhere. DNA on the exterior indicates it was once implemented inside one of the life forms indigenous to 4546b. 
perhaps the warbirds. It sighs, suggesting the subject was. Never mind. It sighs, suggesting the subject was a Leviathan class organism. Beyond tracking and broadcasting its location, the implant may have also rec have recorded biological data on the subject. However, this data cannot be retrieved. Maybe they used it on the Sea Emperor Leviathan? Who knows? This device. Oh, for crying out loud. This device stores linguistic data from over 1,000 different languages. The core of the device may allow alien text to be read and translated. Analysis on of the onboard data reveals a number of ancient Earth languages, and the term CHBC Live appears many times in the device's data. Its import is unclear. The device seems to be configured, configured to translate into the designer's language. It will not work into. It will not work the other way around. Okay, so. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, right, we didn't put it in the tablet yet. Put it in already. Thank you. Okay, let's go, Night Fury. That's the name of the prawn suit. Oh, no, not this again. I thought they fixed that long ago. Of crying out loud. With like the water effects and everything. Hmm. I for crying out loud. There we go, finally. Yikes. As I saw the sea emperor. There you are! Uh, maybe. Oh, really? Uh huh. Interesting. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they do. You know, it's nice to be right next to a gigantic creature such as this and not have it attack me by any way in any way, shape or form. Cool. Hey Empri Empress. Whoa, this place is cool. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Breathe on them. I think I know the reason. That big girl right there. Why are you red? Okay, you're fixed now. Do not harm me. I come in peace. Wait a minute, does that mean I can... I hope she doesn't get mad if I kill a few of these peepers. For the sake of survival, of course. Spy a dock leaf. 14,000 leagues underwater. Find the primary containment facility. It's so nice to... It's so nice to be... So close to one of these, and not have it try to kill me. This is awesome. It's massive. 
Well, it needs to be big in order to support such a massive creature. Hmm. Ooh, keeper. Nah. There you are. Off the love. Yeah, I got this, guys. Off the love. There you are. And I can eat you. And she does not care. Well, I think I know the explanation. That big girl right there. Holy cow. Oh, it's your children. Insert ion cube. I know where to get one. Excuse me, your highness. I'll be right back. Hello. Are you coming to sit down to teach me a lesson? Or are you just tired? If I, maybe if I stand over here long enough, she'll talk to me or whatever. The Empress? You okay, ma'am? Your Highness? Whatever you want me to call you? She's not in a talkative mood, okay? I wonder if I can last on to her. No, there you go. Nope. Hang on, I can do this, don't I, guys? Wow, you are fast. For such a big creature, you sure are speedy. I hate to have to be against you in a race. Oh, no. Hey, I'm just hanging. I hate myself for that. Okay, um. Oh, crud. Ooh, this is, this is kind of close, guys. Ah, crud. Whew. Got it. I can do this. Don't worry, guys. Um. Eh. Oh, and by the way, I'm super hyped about the official release of Semnaga Below Zero tomorrow. It is I have no doubt it's going to be incredible. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, I overshot it. Hey! Hey, Missy! Ooh. Nope. There we go! Oh, for Don't worry, I'll be right back! Mm. There we go! Oh, no, not this again. There we go. I got this. I got this, guys. Don't even worry about it. (sighs) 
I hate this glitch. I got this, guys. Don't even worry about it. Okay, yeah, this works. I hate this glitch. You know what I would be hyped more about than Subnautica Below Zero is for the developers of this game to f actually f try to fix this glitch. I'm stuck! There are bigger problems! Oh, crud. Hey! I'm back, like I promised. Still trying to figure this thing out, don't worry. I'll get the hang of it. Mm. <sighs> oh, for the love of crying out loud. Okay, open storage. Vital signs stabilizing. That was a mistake, wasn't it? Hey, I'm back. Did you miss me? Oh crap, that's the wrong direction. Hi! Mm. Hey, hey, do I have that? Yes, I have the ion cube, okay. Insert ion cube. Oh, now you're going to talk. What are you going to say this time? My young need to have to play outside this place. Uh huh. We have been here so long. Uh huh. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. Wow, you are, you have a way with words, did you know that? Okay, so what do we need to hatch these guys? Incubator inserts hatching and en enzymes. And press an A! 
Nothing's happening. Am I? Incubator. Of the love. Hmm. Has the science that emperor specimen's eggs are attached to some form of incubator. In the normal life cycle, it seems likely that sea birds will have buried their eggs in shallow waters, where different or where different organic materials in the soil will have triggered the hatching response. The incubator suggests the aliens had res resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would simulate the eggs' natural hatching environment, but were unable to discover the formula. With the extensive information on the sea emperors themselves, it may still be possible to fabricate an artificial hatching enzyme using indigenous ingredients. However, the only surviving source of that information will be the sea emperor itself. Herself. Have some respect. Yeah, jeez. Okay, so I don't need to insert another ion cube. But why isn't this working? Sea Emperor eggs. I can scan you. The Sea Emperor's eggs. Shell. Shell. Uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds or thousands of years old. A alien tubes. Alien devices penetrate the outer shell layer likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environment. Amno... Amnoitic shack. Sack. Like many eggs on 4546B, these do not contain a nutrient supply, which is slowly exhausted by the embryo. Instead, they exist in a form of natural stasis, awaiting appropriate hatching conditions. Fetal, fet, fetal organism. There is a high genetic match between these organisms and the Leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy. It is likely that ideal hatching conditions for the eggs vary consider, considerably from ideal survival conditions for the parent. Right. Got it. Why won't... Am I on the wrong side? I'm pressing A, nothing's happening. I don't know how to hatch your eggs, ma'am! And this flipping thing isn't working! Do I need to no another ion cube to put into the portal in order to get her to talk? Okay. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, and then... Huh. Mm. There we go. Now let's see if it'll work. Uh, seriously, developers? Are you this lazy?
Great, now I have to go back to get another iron cube. Iron cube, great. I'm for crying out loud. Hey, I'm back again. Just had to get another ion cube. Wait, is this the right direction? Yes, it is, okay. Don't want to smush the eggs. Okay. Oh, now you're talking. With the passage you've opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force them. To you, I kept a secret willingly. Okay, new brew blueprint sim 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 sized. I don't know how to say that. Blueprint new blueprint acquired. Okay, a full day has passed. Wow. Advanced theories: the Sea Emperor's life cycle. Oh, look. that thing's. <laughs> hey. Available biological data has been used to sim synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea and birds' natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in in s small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the high volumes of microorganisms in the shallower waters. Family size would be strict limited by available food supply. Offspring would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime ev event. The species likely had their preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumption that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. Even if this is so, there is evidence that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the Emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between the specimen and other life forms likely developed as a direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which learned to keep the Emperor alive survived with its help. This may explain the fast tracks of lifeless ocean and the rough perimeter around the Emperor's location. Right. Okay, where are the M signs? Did I, did I move past it? I did, did I? Great. Oh, there we are. Um, fungal simper, fungal sample. Oh, for the love. Mm. Bulb. Bush, sample, ghost weed seed, eye stalk seed, sea crown seed, fungal sample. <sighs> Great. That leads to the mountains where the, um, where the Reaper Leviathan lives. Um, is it 
Is it worth the risk? Okay, um, let's center this first. Then let's save. Cause I'm kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie with you. And plus, it takes forever to the for the character actually to actually walk out of the portal. Can I walk out yet? You are taking forever. Can I please walk out yet? Maybe the further di distance the longer the walk? I cannot see. Am I stuck? Is the game just broken? Help! Um. Uh. Uh. I'm. I think I'm stuck. Are you done yet? This uh, this video has just been a full minute of green nothingness. How long does it take to walk out of a flipping portal? Now um, let's get the heck out of here before the Reaper of Ether notices me. I hear you, you know, punk. Don't try it. I'm not in the mood to deal with you. Do you... Ever shut up. Finally, thank the gods. That's broken. Yes, I should. Okay, we can fit one more seed. Or sample, as they like to call it. I, I don't know which way is the more dangerous way. Um, the active lava zone way or the mountain way? The one with the portal? Actually, I have a theory, right? So the portal to the primary containment facility is underwater. And the portal back from the primary containment facility is underwater. So, in theory, I should be able to get my Seamoth down there. 
But no, it would just be destroyed from the pressure, wouldn't it? Unless... But... That's a hundred... But that's a thousand meters under uninter uninterrupted water. The, and the sea emperor is in the moon pool, which has less deep water. So my theory is that the water should be shallow enough for the Seamoth depth module to consider it shallow enough for it to enter through, right? And then in turn, you can should not be destroyed from the pressure. Unless that's not how it works. And I'm officially screwed. We'll, we'll find out, won't we? Can the Seamoth even go into the portal? It's an interesting theory. I mean, think about it. The primary containment facilities in a moon pool. Which means... You guys are, gain are understanding my theory, right? What I'm talking about? Because it hopefully it might work. But if it doesn't, then I don't know what to do. I am not looking forward to it. To going back and forth to Reaper the Python. So, um, guys, you'll n never guess what just happened to me. I was just going around in my Seamoth and some Naga, and all of a sudden, I this happens right here. I get glitch trapped into a wreck. Yeah. So, um, I'm not going to be taking on my Seamoth on any more adventures. Not at all. So, um, remember my theory about how the Seamoth might be able to f go into the Sea Emperor's moon pool room? Well, guess I won't be able to prove that. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. Where am I? I don't know what just happened. I was not expecting that. I... Plant shelf. Cool. Open? What do you mean, open? I've been here before? It doesn't look familiar. Um... I do not know how this happened. How else one minute's this? In all honesty. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, I also have a full inventory as well. So 
So I'm just going to have to make a run for it. Because my CMOS cannot go any further. Um, bye! I don't know how that happened. That is ridiculous. That, that happened right then and there. Oh, it's night time, isn't it? See you later, Aurora. Uh, hopefully I'll never have to come back to go back to that place ever again. Cause I'm pretty sure I got already got everything I needed. The prawn suit, the r rocket thing, la rocket launch pad, I'm pretty sure. Rocket launch platform. I I also fixed the start core reactor. I don't really have that much to worry about now, honestly. Except for again, back to the um, primary containment facility. Alive. Because the portal towards the primary containment facility is some it's right next to a reaper or at least it's spawn location anyway and that spells nothing but trouble and bad news and death so yeah um i'm Pretty screwed. And also, wait, I never did get the table coral, did I? Let's put all of that in there. Decomposing bulb bush shamble. That's a. Wait a minute. Yeah, I also scanned the new item. I shot past it. This thing, the plant itself. Well, wall mounted plant pot. I don't think you can actually plant anything in it. It just has plants automatically, but it's cool to have, right? Okay, um, ha hatching enzymes. We just need a ghost weed, then we're good to go. But before we go anywhere, or was I? Uh, uh, uh. Oh wait a minute, that reminds me. I don't need any more salt. Because now the entrance to the primary containment facility isn't all that hard. I might keep it around in case I might need it later. Who knows, right? I know that blood weed is usually located near the lost river or in it, but is it in the blood kelp trench? I wonder. Yeah, it's so funny that my sea monster is now stuck. Okay, so there it is. I was about to ask are those ghost weeds, but no, they're Gabe's Gabe feathers. Uh, 
I don't know why they call it Gabe Feathers. Hmm. Those are deep shrooms. Don't need those. Um. It seems that you can only find ghost weeds in the last for last river, not the last forest. I'm pronouncing everything incorrectly today, aren't I? Yep. Oh boy, I cannot see the what's underneath me, and it is terrifying. Oh wait, never mind. You can find them in the blood trance, right? Oz? Ah! Flyers! Oh, don't you dare. Yeah, that, that'll show you, you electric punk. <sighs> I would say brick, but with a P instead of a B, but I don't know if that counts as a curse word or not. So I'm stealing a rainbow. I that still amazes me to this day, to this moment. I was about to say that to this day, but it hasn't happened all that long ago. Right, here we go, and up we go. Sorry, Rainbow, but you cannot be saved. <laughs> I still don't know how on earth that happened. That amazes me. It honestly does. So, um... You mind if... Okay, let me check something real quick. I still do not have the power cells. Oh yeah, because they put them somewhere else. Zero uh, percent? I thought that was the first one I replaced. Weird. It could be remembering wrong. I have a tendency to do that. Okay, and what's over here? Zero, eighty-six, and zero. Okay, um, anything down here? How much? Were these empty the last time I checked? Yeah, they're empty. Um, okay. Oh, right, I need to go back down to get back out. And in we go. There's the. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have all the necessary ingredients. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Okay. There you go. There you go. No, not that. Just in case I need it, right? You never know. But if we go over here... And... Hat scene and... Signs! Yeah, boy. Nice. Niceness. Uh-huh. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Uh-huh. 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 I, I, I'm not going to try anymore. I'm, I'm just not. Okay, now to brave that reaper the fights and punks that lives in the mountains. <sighs> this is going to be a while. Should I pause the video? Not the video, but should I pause the recording here and notify you when I'm back in the place? Yeah, I think that's a better option. I'm going to stop the recording. Well, not stop it, but pause it here, so, and you'll see me again when I get back to the place, okay? See you later, guys. Wish me luck. Bye. Hey guys, I am back at the primary containment facility with the hat and enzymes. I don't know why my character keeps looking up. Oh, for the love. Alright. Here they are. That's the enzymes. I did scan these, right? Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh, they're hat saying. Aren't you going to talk? Hello? Ma'am? Ma'am? Mistress? Hello? Those are some nice teeth you have. You can't- you can't see me, right? And you can't hear me? Hello? Where are your- where are the ears on this? Mistress, um... Hello? Oh, love. Um, did I break the game? Nothing's happening. I- uh, ma'am? I think I did the things in her first. Maybe I just have them wait. Maybe I should just wait for them to excrete the enzyme 42 to cure myself. Then something will happen. Oh, there we go. You're welcome. Excuse me. What? Come on, ma madam. You're stronger than this. Okay, yeah, I'll admit, that's tiny. But farewell, I guess. That Well, that was morbid. Wait, aren't you guys going to lay out the cure? Oh, there it is. Ooh, before we see the animation that cures the disease. Aren't you going to do the animation? There it is. Oh. Yeah, that's creepy. Yep. Okay, um... All... Yeah, I scanned one of those very recently. Z 
Zimper juvenile. A juvenile amber specimen is producing a highly potent form of enzyme 42, which should be capable of fully curing individuals of the alien bacterium. This species has its relatively fully formed alpha love. And independent, perhaps reflecting the fact that they must fend for themselves when they are first born away from their parents. This specimen is healthy and exhibiting signs of a positive attitude to life. Well, I don't blame them for being in the shell for a thousand years. You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream, estimated incubation time two weeks. Your immune system is currently com combating the f infection at low efficiency. You may already be experiencing flu-like systems and skin irritation. Th these will likely be exacerbated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be should be apid at the yeah, I need oxygen. Are you not dead yet? I thought you were about to die. Um, your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps. Salvage for the alien research data on a possible vaccine and investigate the mechanisms which have enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhibit the sin terms of the infection. Well, I already know how they did now, though. I am extremely late to that, aren't I? Yep. Now I just need to touch the cure, then all should be fine and dandy. Touch it. Ooh, it's sticky. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Oh, the, it's, the affection, the affection against the virus in, is immediate. Optimal health, cure the infection. Well, it's a good place I came to the mountain island anyway, because, um, save. Because I needed to come over here anyway to shut down the gun. Which means that I can finally build my rocket and leave this place. This wet heck hole. Ah, my back hurts. I hate this because it takes forever. Bye. Oh. Oh. Why did it have to be nighttime? Daytime is worse. Daytime is bad enough. It's even worse at night. Because now I can't see it coming until it's right up in my face.
finally we're at the entrance of this place now let's wait for it to load then we'll go in and shut off the beam any minute now there we go force field control thank you for letting me in Hmm, now where was the control room? I'm pretty sure it was somewhere down here, wasn't it? This place is so big it's easy to get lost. Oh yeah, here's the elevator down. And... Down I go, wait. I didn't put on- I didn't put my gloves back on? Are you serious? There you go. There. And if we keep going this way, we should find the control room nearby. Oh, um. There we go. Thank you. And I'm pretty sure the control room is up here. There it is. Please tell me it works now. Oh, this is very epic. I never scanned this. Are you serious? Energy core. I could have sworn I scanned it. This device has this energy equivalent to 100 MT nuclear denton to a 100 MT nuclear detonation. This can be turned out through the facility and directed at vessels overhead or bend around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is rooted via the attached terminal, allowing for the device to be deactivated if necessary. It's currently operating without perimeters, suggesting it will target any ship within range, including the Aurora, which is the ship it shot down, which is why we're on this wet hell in the first place. Yeah, take that, punk. Ow. Hate you too, pal. Or a fiend. Ow, don't punch it. Punch it. Look at that, it actually works. We, we can finally get off this plate. Get off this plant. Oh my gosh, that thing is loud. But honestly, I'm not troubled by it. Because it means we are finally off this place. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I wonder what happens if I take a prawn suit through the elevator. Will nothing happen? Or will the animation not work right? Oh, the elevator is still working. Okay, good. The elevator is the one, th it's possibly the one thing still working. This is really 
school. It's the, after all, it's the first alien, it's the alien, it's the first alien building we encountered on this adventure. Sure, we, we've had others, but none of them has an impact like this one. The first one we discovered. And are you asking, am I going to miss it? A part of me will, yeah. But another part says, screw this place to the low, but most deepest pits of heck. I'm out. That's literally me right now. Have one side just... Oh, wow. This place is so cool. I'm really going to miss it. And the other side is... I despise this place. I'm going to burn... I'm going to... I'm not going to miss it one teeny tiny bit. Put this... HUD chip back on. Vital signs. Stabilizing. And now, my loyal prawn suit, we are going home. We got a lot of stuff ahead of us. A lot of stuff indeed. And unfortunately for you guys, this will... You're not going to... See my journey back home because I am stopping the recording. Wish me luck, y'all.